Korea's first privately backed commercial satellite is set to lift off in late February. It's just one of the projects under development by the Korea Aerospace Research Institute, which plans to spend the year working on new projects to keep the country in the global space race. Our Son Jung Yin reports. This is the Arirang 3A, Korea's first domestically developed multi purpose satellite. It is equipped with electro-optic and infrared sensor cameras that will enable Korean researchers to see high-resolution images of the Earth even at night. The camera can take pictures that are twice as clear as the Arirang-3, the satellite currently in operation. The 3A is now in its final stage of development ahead of the blast-off from Russia's Yasny launch site sometime in late February. All that's left is to connect the upper module of the launch vehicle to the satellite. And after we finish testing the electrical power, everything will be ready for liftoff. The Institute's new project to develop the KSLV-2, the Korea Space Launch Vehicle No. 2, is also in full swing. Its first stage was completed over a period of five years, and the project is now in its second phase, which involves connecting the 7-ton and 75-ton liquid engines. Up until last year, scientists had focused on testing the engines, but this year they will concentrate on testing other parts of the rocket, in addition to test firing the engines once they are assembled. This year marks a turning point in our quest to develop our own space launch vehicle as we combine the technology of the equipment and the facilities that we've developed so far. The Korea Aerospace Research Institute, together with 15 other local institutions, pledges to push ahead with its research and development program to further enhance Korea's competitiveness in the global space race. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.